Hi, I'm Scotty. Welcome to Scotty's Cluck World. Today we've got a problem with a wheel. You can see here. Got three seriously bent teeth. There, there, there. Someone's had a rough attempt at trying to fix it up by heating it and it didn't work. Right, these are the tools we're going to need. Piercing saw, some flux, some solder, a couple of files, a scribe, a 600 and a 2000 mesh stick, a piezo burner, and a set of vernier calipers. The thickness of the wheel is 1.1 mil. The thickness of the brass plate is 1.69 mil. It always needs to be a little bit thicker so that we can file it down and finish it off when we've done the teeth. Right, let's remove a lot of this stuff out of the road first. You'll see on our brass plate here, there's some blue coloured ink down there. That's engineer's layout ink, which is already dried. And I've clamped the wheel over the top of that. We're going to scribe four teeth onto the plate. It will leave a mark in the engineer's layout ink. Then we'll cut it out with a piercing saw. Right, let's scribe it out first. I've sharpened the scribe so it's as thin as it can get because there's not much distance between one tooth and the next there. So we'll lift that up so you can see it a little bit easier. Then we'll run around with the scribe and mark the shape of the teeth. Back again. Yep, that seems to mark. Take our vice grips off without losing the wheel. We can have a look. You can see the shape of the teeth there that I've marked with the scribe. Now we'll cut this piece of plate out and start to cut the shape out. You can see that I've scribed a line above the shape of our teeth and down the end there. We will cut this piece out initially and then we'll start to cut the teeth. I'll get a start on this and then I'll finish it off camera because it's going to take quite a fair bit of time. I'll start to cut the block out now. This is a very fine blade on the saw. 32 teeth per inch. It takes a long time to get anywhere. Just move slowly along the line, removing the dust from time to time so you can see where you're going.
these piercing saw blades are designed so that you can make round moves. The thicker ones you can only cut in a straight or an oblique line. These blades are very good for this sort of work and also if you're cutting out a new set of hands for a cloth. The saw cuts on the back stroke so I'm pulling it down slowly never in any hurry, it takes a long time lots of patience if you try to go faster you'll start breaking blades very very quickly Okay, I'll return soon. This is the rack hook right here. That pin, when you put the gathering pallet back on before you hammer it down to keep it firm, that pin has to fall.